Well, Ben and Jen, the body camera video released by Bristol police is quick, but experts praising the officers involved saying this could have ended much differently. Come on, man, get on the ground for me, okay? Get on the body cam video showing the moments before Bristol police arrested 35-year-old Dennis DJ Hernandez for making threats to commit mass shootings at UConn, his alma mater, and Brown University, where he formerly worked as a football coach. Bristol police say before they arrived, Hernandez threatened officers over the phone and said he would be armed. Because of that threat, the officers went out there in force. University of New Haven professor and former FBI agent Ken Gray says officers had to weigh the threats, but also the concern for Hernandez's mental health. He's acting very irrationally. He's emotionally disturbed. And consequently, the police have to deal with this as dealing with an emotionally disturbed person who is potentially armed. In one of the clips, you can hear an officer make a tactical decision as Hernandez ignores orders and continues to walk towards officers. Okay, go less lethal, less lethal, less lethal. Gray says the officers did the right thing in this situation. The escalation is useful in a situation like this, but since Mr. Hernandez is walking towards the officers and he's not complying, they didn't really have a chance to do de-escalation because he was walking towards them. In the video, right before officers subdue him, Hernandez tells police he's not armed. I'm not, I'm not armed, but get down on the ground. This marking the fourth time this year that DJ Hernandez has been arrested by police. Earlier this year, he was arrested for throwing a brick at ESPN. He was also charged with reckless driving while leading police on a chase through Cheshire. After placing him in cuffs, Hernandez asked officers for help. Dude, I need your help. We, we know that. Now, DJ Hernandez is being charged with a breach of peace and making physical threats. He's being held on a $250,000 bond. A court date has been set for August 1st at 10 a.m. in New Britain's Superior Court. Live in Bristol, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.